Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to do some side quests. But before we do, I want to let everybody know I did go ahead and buy the where is it at oh we'll go to gear it'll probably be easier i went ahead and i bought the uh fortune and the heavens or on fortune and the heavens which gives me 15 percent more experience gain and i went ahead and got the golden testament will which will increase my gill earned by 35 percent um, you don't have to get this stuff. I did go ahead and get an extra level as well. So instead of 27, we are level 28. So I only gained one extra level. I think I'm going to wait to do this quest and go to this one first. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? It's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chancer's Stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but... Unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses? Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. We'll go over to Martha's Rest, and we're going to do those other bounties today. I went ahead and I looked at the bounty board and seen where they were at. So I went and I found them. One of them is over in Lost Wing in the area of here, Clairview. And then the other one is over... And by Martha's Rest, I believe. Or no, East Pool. East Pool is where it's at. And it's over here at the Broken Hilt. Which will be pretty cool because I want to go check out over here by the dim. If that door will open up for us. Let's go over to Martha's Rest. Thank you for sticking with us. 
Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? So, about the price of them turnips. Ah, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got a gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet, if memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Let's take a look at our map. It's quite a trek, but we'll go across the bridge this time instead of going underneath. Stay sharp. We After do what the Empire did to Martha's love, I... Don't you go causing any trouble now. Let's go. Faster! Figured we should use our chocobo a little bit. We haven't really used Ambrosia at all, and I think I'm going the wrong way. Nope, I am not. Scorpions. At least I know what I'm up against. I better get this back to Yvonne before it goes bad. <sighs> or any worse, at least. Go turn this side quest in. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely? You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm, uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Oh, oh, 
Odin's teeth. What an assault on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. And, and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It, it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're... Welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. I would never <laughs> in the world try that stew. I might want to wear that. So instead of having the one for Gil, which is right here, we're going to put this on. That way we can have some extra defense. Ah, <sighs> And then let's start this other side quest as well. Typical nobles. How did we never hear new billets being posted every day? Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. That normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down, and whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what do you say? Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. I want to come over here to Desiree. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. You earned this. Come again. I may have more for you. What does that berserker ring do? It's not a bad ring, just not something I care to wear. Or accessory. I keep calling them rings and necklaces and shit. Or accessories. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Cannon. <sighs> First August, and now you. What are you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, 
The other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. Yeah. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all, a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened across him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summit. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters, neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe? Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. So, it sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. Okay, so we're going to have to write down the location for the griffin, I suppose. by the West Gate. Um, no, it wouldn't be over here. It would be over here because this is San Breck. Let's look in here real quick. Where's the west gate at? That's Lost Wing. Yeah, 
You don't see a west gate. I mean, I would assume like the west gate would be over here. Let's just look at that one more time. I'm going to write this down real quick. Yeah, I mean, this is a river gate, so maybe if we come over to Lost Wing and run over here, we'll put a marker down. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's go over to Lost Wing. And then we're going to come into the map, put a marker over here. Good day to you. Maybe we'll be able to find that griffin over there. <gasps> the crystals we get from the tailor all but Make sure we're going the right way. I'm gonna go this way. Come on. Hop on our chocobo. Speed things up a little bit. Can we jump? Oh, we can. Awesome. I wonder if it's back here. Nope. I'll hop off of this. See what's up with this. Don't know. Run like the wind. Griffins don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. I don't see a griffin over here. The 
The leather worker will have to wait. Toggle, look sharp. And this is definitely a tough uh, enemy. Oh, whoa. slow. Did that. fight those bounties are no joke is something there boy Could that be our man? Are you all right? 
Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? <laughs> She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund? It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art, and not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. Y you send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. While we're over here, we're going to go ahead and take on the bounty over here. So let's travel to Northreach. I'm going to drag this video out a little longer because I want to get these bounties done. Welcome, welcome. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. I'll be here if you need me. Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. Look at this place. We spend half a day here. Just gotta put a marker there. Good girl. Fly Ambrosia. Hopefully we can find this bounty fairly quickly. Maybe, oh, I think this is it right here. This isn't going to be easy. already take this 
Nice try. Done, Togo. Go back over here. Buy a couple of extra potions. And what can I do for you? You've a keen eye. And then we need to go over to East Pool. Not that there's anything left of East Pool, but Damn bandits. You'll regret coming here. We want to go to the broken hilt. We're going the wrong way. Could have backtracked a little bit and saved ourselves some time. So I think what we need to do is come over here. It seems like a spot where we could find our bounty. Hopefully. Stay down! There's our bounty, I can just tell by the color. A 
wild wyvern. In Rosaria? Slow. Nice try. Oh, how did that miss? Slow. Hopefully this will do it. take this off and then we're going to head back to the hideout turn in this side quest and then I think we'll end the video hopefully we don't get a long cut scene uh, before we turn in the side quest let's go over here to um, typical nobles to um, Desiree how did we never hear about these guardians of the flame Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. That monster's taken quite a liking to and me. And with a bit of luck. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. 
and he asked me to give you this, along with his regards. You're joking. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. I wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather-working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. <sighs> Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what eyes to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. Nah, it wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Awesome. We got a level out of all of that as well. What do you need? So, what would it be? Let's go ahead and craft this belt. And how am I meant to do that then? Oh, we don't have what we need. Is that it? <clears throat> Fine. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. Okay, so we don't have what we need. What we're going to do is come over here to the elevator in the video. And when we come back, we will start on the main quest. So I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button and let me know why down in the comments below, it only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.